Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I have been showcasing latest scoop and rendering of the 2022 Toyota Tundra, and most recently, I've shown you what the Tundra Platinum might look like. And today, I'm going to show you even more things about the Toyota Tundra, because I've just finished creating the rendering or photo image of what the Tundra Off-Road and Tundra Limited might look like. So it's an exciting time for all Tundra fans, and I've got a lot to share with you. By the way, if you're curious about the clothing I'm wearing today, this is the official Toyota uniform that we wear when we go to a production or engineering site. This is sort of like a working clothing, and uh, this is something that we wear uh, when we're actually doing some work with the cars and truck in design, engineering, or production. Anyhow, let me walk you through how I came up with the latest image and the photo of what the Tundra looks like in both the off-road and limited configurations. So let me show you right now. So I'm back with more Tundra rendering and photo images to show you. It's been a little while since we first saw this teaser image from Toyota. And ever since then, we've been absolutely inspired by what the new Tundra will look like. And of course, Toyota finally showed us the uh, TRD Pro version of the Tundra in white. And we all got very excited, particularly because of the three marker lights in the front and on the side indicating this is a wide a track, a wide format Tundra and aggressive front design had the light bar and fog lamps and this kind of army camouflage pattern in the front lower bumper and over the wheel wells. The Tundra also got brand new wheels from BBS and a new Falcon tires, which is a big deal. And we were all surprised by the slider type side steps which is kind of heavy duty version good for real off-roading and then there is a heavy duty emblems or trim in the hood um, which is flanked by the two LED headlamps. In terms of interior we were delighted to see the grab handles on the A-pillar both driver and passenger side and then the large headrest shows a beautiful red leather uh, and looks like the rear window is going to be powered and will slide down again as before. So those are some of the highlights from a TRD Pro. And then just recently I've shown you the rendering or the photo image I created for the Platinum version. In case you missed my video about the Platinum, I indicated a blue emblem in the front showing that this is more than likely hybrid, just like the TRD Pro. And then I've changed the front design to show a kind of aluminum or semi-metallic grill uh, indicating that it's different from the TRD Pro. I even changed the color of the little tiny grill underneath the LED headlamp just to color match to the grill. Again, this is sort of a, a semi-chrome color. Other notable changes include the front bumper, the lower part of it has been color matched to the body color so it's no longer black. And then the two large heavy duty TRD Pro emblems in the hood were removed to give it more of a refined look. The wheels were enlarged to the 20 inch with again chrome look with the proper six lug nut design and a Toyota emblem in the center. And I even changed the design of the side step so that it's first of all color match to the grill and the wheels, kind of a matte chrome finish. And I'm going to assume it's some kind of a retractable electric side step. Finally, I changed the tail lamp so that they are clear and bright, not a darker version that we see in TRD Pro. And here you see the Platinum in a kind of beautiful mountain backdrop. And I'm quite confident the Platinum will indeed look like this. One more bonus photo, and this is the Platinum with the Magnetic Gray. It's a little hard to show that color in the rendering, but at least it'll give you some idea what the Platinum will look like in this kind of darker gray color. And this is my newest creation. This is the actual Limited. As you can see, the emblem on the C-pillar, and I removed the Platinum emblem from the front door. I changed the uh, door handle so they are also chrome because the um, Limited typically have more chrome finish both uh, front and throughout the vehicle than the uh, Platinum version. And so I changed the front grille so that it is definitely a brighter chrome color which gives it a little bit more of a character, I think. I kept the blue emblem because I'm going to assume for now the hybrid option will still be available in the limited. I've also changed the color of the rear view mirror, uh, also indicating that it's likely chrome over there. 
Now it's a little hard to tell, but the entire bezel surrounding the grill is also chrome. Although I did not uh, put chrome over the wheel wells, nor the lower part of the left and right part of the bumper, uh, because it, it kind of looked strange that way. Uh, the tail lamp is still clear, like in the platinum, and then I changed the side steps also to make it brighter chrome. It's still retractable as an option, that's what I believe. Just like the platinum, uh, I've retained the 20 inch design for the wheels by changing the design to reflect more of a bold character that we often see in limited because everything is chrome and the tires are more of a highway friendly tires as well. Um, I left everything else more or less the same. I didn't touch anything in the interior and so this uh, kind of completes the look and the feel of the limited and you can tell that it is slightly different from the platinum but not as much as you would think because that's typically has been the case. Now this is the limited in the silver color. Again hard to show a silver in a rendering like this. But at least this will show you what the Tundra Limited might look like in a different color. Uh, obviously there will be other color choices, perhaps even the Lunar Rock. Please let me know in the comments below if you like the Limited in that silver color. Now here is the TRD off-road version. You can see the emblem in the back. I made sure it was to the right scale uh, because it's got the 3D perspective look right now and it has a number of other changes to ensure that this is an accurate reflection of what the TRD off-road will look like. I'm not quite 100% finished with this rendering. I'm kind of working on it still. For example, I left the blue emblem in the front indicating that there might be a hybrid version of the off-road. I don't believe that is going to be the case, um, but um, the TRD off-road will still have the aluminum or kind of semi-metallic chrome finish in the front. And I blacked out the lower part of the front bumper indicating that the TRD off-road has a little bit more black trims all around. The wheels were also changed to the 18 inch off-road type with a black chrome finish, which kind of looks cool on this car. Once again with six lug nuts and Toyota emblem in the center. For now, I left the door handles and the rear view mirror accents to chrome finish, but I might change them to black, indicating once again that TRD off-road has a little bit more of a blacked out trims. It's hard to tell if the wheel wells are going to be body color or will be blacked out. So I might play with that and uh, put some blacked out uh, trims there just like in the TRD Pro without the camouflage pattern. And that might make this uh, truck look a little bit more off-road-ish and closer to what the TRD off-road will be like. And here is the TRD off-road with a different background to give you a different flavor. Again, I really like the look and feel of this one. It might be the best looking one overall. By the way, if you are located in the US, you know that uh, there is a Platinum, then there's a Limited, and then the TRD Off-Road and the TRD Sport are add-on packages. But uh, in Canada, it's slightly different. They dropped the Limited model for 2021 and replaced it by giving TRD Off-Road a separate upgraded model called the TRD Off-Road Premium. So essentially, the Limited was migrated and embedded into the TRD Off-Road and TRD Sport models and simply by calling it the premium version. So it's kind of a strange way of doing the different model configurations. But hopefully it won't be too long before we find out all the different configurations available for the 2022 Tundra. And I'm going to be working on the rendering for the base models, uh, including the SR, SR5. So those are still yet to come. But let me know in the comments below if you like any of these uh, rendering or photo images and which ones are your favorite. Uh, I'll continue to work on Tundra news and Tundra updates and give you as much information as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching. I'm signing off for now.